that was this animal coming to life. It has the beak form, I think my jaw just dropped. This is Soul Food, an American journey through the Chinese kitchen. I'm Gerald Tan. And right now, I'm witnessing a celebrated chef from China transform vegetables into an edible masterpiece, the carved phoenix. And I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Atlanta is among the most eclectic electric cities in the U.S. South. That dynamism couldn't be more evident in the food scene, with popular attractions such as Crock Street Market and Pond City Market offering cuisines to tantalize any palate. For those seeking an adventure further afield, Beaufort Highway awaits. Fondly called the International Corridor, it's home to hundreds of eateries opened by migrants to the city, offering a taste of their own culture. This is where Ray Liu, a certified master chef from China, first turned heads with his exhilarating cooking in the aptly named restaurant Masterpiece. You're a certified master chef in China. What do you have to do to attain such a recognition? Uh, first, 然后被人民大会堂相中Eager to demonstrate instead of pontificate, Chef Liu picks up his self-patented carving tools and gets to work. First, the body of the phoenix. It takes just nine cuts to a daikon radish for the initial silhouette, the head being the most delicate. With two deft moves at the end, the beak of the mythical creature takes shape. Next, thin slices of green radish are chiseled into wings. Their span outstretched and the plume voluminous. Each cut adds texture and movement, meaning and poetry. The tail, constructed from the same vegetable, is turned feather-like and majestic. Finally, some intricate details from a carrot, the comb and wattles of the fowl. The phoenix head is now complete, the illusion magical. Uh, what is 然后那个，就是它不同的姿态可以通过这个呃切，开始切的时候表达。There was a moment you did two quick cuts, and suddenly I saw the beak of the phoenix, and as the beak formed, I think my jaw just dropped because to me that was this animal coming to life, and I'd never seen anything like this before. 雕东西呢，它不是说是，呃，非常就是是，呃，难。它主要就是那个用那个思路去套。So what is your advice for someone who's never tried food carving, who's now inspired looking at this? How do they get started? 
，先做厨师，首先你对食材要了解，它的硬度，它方方面面，这都属于烹饪方面的东西。呃，能做出那个雕刻艺术来，它一定是要高于烹饪的，是是烹饪方面的，呃，雕刻艺术是烹饪的一枝花嘛。And cook he can with passion and finesse. Chef Liu's Sichuan dishes have garnered him a two-time finalist placing for best chef in the southeast by the James Beard Foundation. This is not for the faint-hearted. It's spicy, um, it doesn't just come from the Sichuan peppercorns. So not only am I already getting the tingling, numbing sensation, I can feel the beads of sweat. Sitting here, you get this real floral scent. Sichuan peppercorns, again, really characteristic of Sichuan cooking, but it's delicate. Jellyfish. Really refreshing. Even though this is an appetizer, I might recommend it after you had some of the spicy mala dishes because this will cool things down. This is a tea smoked duck. It's even presented in the shape of one. Crispy skin. Aromatic meat. What is the style of your cooking? What is your perspective? By what? By what? The 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 呃，还有中美友谊的这个思想，传把我那个，呃，就是烹饪的种子传播到美国。呃，我就是要把那个我理解的那个中国味道，传统的那个味道，我体会的那个味道，我要给它展现出来，然后用现在的这种材料，还有当前的这种调料。通过我的思路给它柔和在一起，表达出来